This is what people are talking about on the Twitter streets, Facebook, and other places in the bus when we are going home. People are talking about this man. Do you think that is losing his mind? The first question that you should look at, the first video that was that surfaced in Mozambique, the second video when you are saying that I wish I was in Chimoyo. <laughs> In the laughs that he is showing on the next video when he has been questioned by the authorities in Mozambique. Mm. Two days later, or mm. 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 thousand. Mm. 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 Now when he's arriving at court and when he's leaving court, compare and contrast these videos. Does he look normal to you? I think he looks normal. One explanation that people can give is that the experience that he went through of shooting four people and all of them knowing that they are dead and also the fifth person being the caretaker at Mtare Boy's Eye, I don't think that he's somebody who has gone wrong and there is a bit of trauma that is going on true to him. I'm not a psychologist, but I'm just stating a fact that not a normal person would just think that I'm, I'm going to kill these people. Some of these people, they, they are not his enemies. He just went on to do, the, to do it because of maybe the overwhelming anger that was upon him. I don't know. To you experts, tell me in the comment section. Do you think that this man is losing his mind and that might be his ticket out of this Chipinyangora or this jail? Tell me more in the comment section. If you are an expert in dealing with these things where people get on a rampage to kill more than four people and they are they still normal or something is wrong with their mind?